Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. It is time for Barry and Vengeance. So let's get this going. Don Thousands, the deity of the Barons, appeared before Vector. They may have defeated me, but our battle is far from finished. Next time, I'll crush them once and for all. All I require is the strength, and if the ancient Barian legends are true, Don Thousand, I offer you my life force in exchange for your great power. You woke me to plead for a favor, the gift of my power? Dude, this dude looks kinda cool. Why? There's someone I must defeat once and for all, but I can't do it without your help. You speak of Astral. Yes, and his pest of a friend, Yuma Sakumo. Give me the power to defeat them and I'll do whatever you ask. Discover the locations of the seven Mithrian? 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 Numbers. Seven Mithrian numbers? Retrieve them and we will be unstoppable. If that's what it takes to beat Yuma and Astral, then consider it done. Once receiving Don Thousand's power, Vector visited Mizar and Duman. As you know, Astral has always been a threat to us. Many ages ago, he even defeated our great deity, Don Thousand, and cast him into the shadows, or into the depths of the Great Barrier. And say, where did, I, where did I get shadows from? Where did I get that word from? I guess... This is not where I got it from, but Vector's name was Ray Shadows, wasn't it? So yeah, I could have I could have made that smooth, but no, that's not what made me say Shadows. Uh, if he continues absorbing numbers, he'll soon be in a position to completely destroy Barian World. But never fear, Vector is here. I have learned. I feel like I've said that before when I was playing Call of Duty. Never fear, my Vector is here. I feel like I've said that before. I have learned of a way we can stop him. There are seven Mithrian numbers scattered across the human world. When we acquire them, we can wield their power to crush Astral. If your information is correct, then it is imperative we find the, those numbers before Astral does. We could discover them. We could discover something else. If we travel to the human world, we may find clues that can lead us to Nash. To Nash. It seems like only yesterday we seven Barian emperors had our ranks reduced to five when our fearless leader Nash and Marin disappeared from Barian world. We may be led to our lost friends as we explore the dimensional doorways. Vector is right. We must split up and begin our search immediately. This better work, Vector. Why does he not have a shirt on? Meanwhile, Astral had a vision of Don Thousand, which caused a map to appear on the airship. Astral then summoned Yuma and his friends to the airship. Next time you bring us to your airship, how about a heads up? I'm sorry, but this matter is rather urgent. I was here on the deck when this... Tra Why do these trains now sound like they're coming in my door? Sounds like they're about to break down the front door and just come in here. I was here on the deck when this planetary map unexpectedly appeared. There are ancient ruins at each of the marked locations. And more importantly, there are seven numbers hidden there. Seven numbers? Along with the map, there was also a message from your father. My dad? Yes, he said- yeah, Yuma, your dad. What, what else were we talking about if he said, hey, your fa- I, I got it. It was also a message from your father. My dad? What kind of a question is that, Yuma, you idiot? Yes, he says we must collect the seven Metherian numbers before the Barians do. There's no way I'll let my dad down. I'm going after those numbers, and nothing's going to stop me. Astro, lay out a course for the first sight. This airship's going to go in, is going full throttle. Everyone headed to Spartan City in search of the first of the seven Metherian numbers, where they met old friends. Dextra and Nistro, what's up? Yuma, you're a sight for sore eyes. So you went pro, Nistro. I know it's a big career change, but we decided that we wanted to give young people hope. As the dueling superhero Nistromo and Star Voyager, I could give fans a hero they could look up to. What brought all of you here to Spartan City anyway? We're on a mission. We're looking for some ancient ruins. Dextra showed Yuma and friends where the ruins were located. However, Alito had made it to the Metherian number first. That looks like a number card. That card is mine for the taking. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Alito! Yuma Sakumo. I'm glad to see that you're okay. I was worried about what happened to you after our duel. Really, Yuma? You are the stupidest idiot on the planet. As you can see, I'm fine. I've completely recovered, and I can't wait to step into the ring with you and have a rematch. Nistro, you're a duelist, right? Then you'll love this card. Check it out. Hold on. This is a number card. That's right, and you will now use it to defeat Yuma for me. Ah! What are you doing? Stop! I must eliminate all threats to Barian World. Winning this duel is the only way to free Nistro from Alito's mind control. 
Yuma, you are such a moron. Oh, hey, I was worried about you. Are you feeling better? Such an idiot. Such an idiot. I wanna... <sighs> I've never been so annoyed with a protagonist ever than stupid Yuma. I have a feeling we're gonna lose. When I get that feeling, I'm gonna lose. I probably will. Because Yuma's deck is a bunch of junk, but this isn't a bad hand. I can make this work. Maybe. Um, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, what is this? Cross attack. Target two face of attack. Draw with the same attack. This turn, one of them can attack your opponent directly, and the other cannot attack. Wow, that doesn't help me at all. Great, thanks. Thanks for this card that's not gonna help me whatsoever. Okay! Dropping two monsters first turn. Hmm. Well, I think I'll go into Leviathan Dragon. I think I'll go for that first turn, Leviathan Dragon. And then I'm gonna go for the second turn, Utopia. Play the two, the two basic cards of this whole series. I wish Leviathan Dragon was more like a part of it. Like, you, like I think in the show Yuma does play it every once in a while, but it's not nearly as like relevant as like Utopia. And like, you know, it's supposed to be kind of like Blue Eyes, or you know, it's supposed to be on that like kind of level, I guess, because. You know, you can get its attack to 3,000, so, you know, it's kind of like Blue Eyes, it's like Red Dragon Archfiend, it's like Cyber... Well, I guess Cyber Dragon was the only one without 3,000, but you know what I mean. And then the 2,500, you know, Utopia, Dark Magician, Neos, and uh, uh, Stardust. So, I guess that's just my observation. See, I'm, I'm like, I could play this, but I don't really see the point at this point. Oh. Uh, what the heck is this thing's ability? I like Leviathan Dragon. I like it a whole lot more now that I saw it in 3D. It looks kind of stupid on the card. It looks a lot cooler in 3D. Okay, Nishiro, you gonna let me hit you with the quickness? Like... The, the intro, if you don't draw something good, the, the intro conversation was harder than you. What you gonna do, Nistro? Oh, you, you dick. Why wouldn't you... Okay, my question is, why wouldn't you... Because he can just keep doing this with curry bolts, you douchebag. What the heck is he about to bring out? Lionheart. Oh god. Usually cards that suck are really good. Wait, no, I wanna now I wanna check the field. Hold on, check the field. Here we go. When you take involving this card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount of battle damage you took. If this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, the card your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from that battle. No. Well, I win. Don't I? I don't know how this works exactly. Maybe I should figure out how this works. Three level one monsters. Can I, can I be sure? When you take battle damage from battles involving this card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount of battle damage you took. If this card battles an opponent's monster after, during damage calculation, Either player's turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken. Are you kidding me? Um. Well. Well, um. No. Okay. Yes. No. Okay, he's got 600 life points left. I don't know if I can find a way to deal 600 points of damage. This is an issue. Oh. 
Okay. Um, I need to draw something good. Give me something good. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um. Son of a, son of a gun, dude. I need... <laughs> this is an issue. Okay, I think I know what I can do to win. Yep, okay, so he's gonna use it. I'm gonna take 1400 points of damage. Yep, I got this. He should have one card left, yeah. He's got one card left. Yep, I got this, I think. I think I got the win. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Utopia's effect when he tries to attack again. Okay, then I'm gonna attack him again with Gaga Gagardna. He'll have to use that ability again. It'll take him down to no cards left over... He won't be overlaid over any cards. And then I can attack him with whoever I want. Detach that. Okay. Okay, this is not good. Oh, okay. Oh, good thing I have MST in my hand. Beautiful. Yep. I want to activate MST. Get that card off the field, whatever it is. Okay, so let me see if I figured this out right. Okay, so. Yep, he's got to use the overlay. I take the damage, and now he has nothing overlaid, so I win. Woohoo! I actually played a duel well for once. Nistro, are you okay? Yuma, what's going on? I wish you told me that you were taking on these barians, Yuma. Just give me the word and I'll drop everything to help you. No thanks, I'd never let you abandon your dream. You told me you you wanted to give all of your fans hope. You're not going to let them down, are you? Of course not. Maybe you should keep this number card, too. Sea of Troubles. Reverse duel. Deck recipe. Firefist Brotherhood Challenge Deck, Lionhearted, Lion, Lionhearted, Lionheart, Xyz Tribal Rivals, and Heroic Challenger Sword Shield, and some Victory Duel Points. Alright, a Sea of Troubles. Let's do this. Yuma and friends travel to the next location. The airship came to a halt in the middle of the ocean. Rio, are you sure this is where the ruins are? The coordinates say it is. This is definitely the place. Rio suddenly seemed hip hypnotized and dove into the ocean, and Shark quickly dove after her. Yuma and Astral went after them, and Yuma awakened in a strange location. Yuma, wake up. Yuma. I guess I must have blacked out for a while there. Where are we? It appears we are beneath the bottom of the ocean. Rio's here too, somewhere. Rio has some kind of mysterious power. She can see things that you and I can't. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if what she saw led her to this place. Shark, Yuma, and Astral were separated by a huge labyrinth. Eventually, Shark found Rio. Rio, you found one of the numbers. What's wrong? I have been waiting for you a very long time, Reginald Castle. Wait, you're not Rio. No, my name is Abyss. So you're a number guardian, and you need used Rio to bring us here, didn't you? You are here because it is your destiny to battle me. I don't know what you're aiming for, but I'll be glad to battle you. Now let Rio go. I will if you defeat me. I'll defeat you. I'll do whatever it takes to get my sister back. Alright, let's do this. I don't- this is the one issue. I've never seen this series, so I can't even, like, be prepared. I can't even know, oh, hey, this dude has- I have a general idea of what deck he's playing and what he wants to summon. Yeah, I have no idea anymore. Now it's just a crapshoot. And, yeah, it's just- it's just a big old crapshoot out here. Oh, great. It's a party. It's a freaking party on turn one. Gorgonic Guardian. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. Um. Ha 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 ha. 
you can target. Okay, that doesn't help me. When a fish sees her, well, this is uh uh <laughs> okay. What? Really? 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 I'm gonna get wrecked here. I am going to get- Oh, hey, I could've attacked. What am I- What am I smoking? What am I smoking? What am I smoking, dude? I didn't notice that card only had 1600 attack. I'm over here like, oh no, what am I going to do? This card is so strong. Yeah, you're out of cards now. I'm dropping big jaws. What cards do I have? Wait, what card can I... Dark Ray Lancer? Okay. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, this deck- I, I thought it was GG, I thought that card had like 2400 attack or something. Aw, oh, poor Big Jaws getting- Wait, is that Big Jaws effect? Oh, it is. What is going on? Um... Okay. Big Jaws. Um. Let's go. Let's go with this. Probably should have done this on a different turn. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna activate swords. The one thing I like about Shark's deck is that he just has monsters galore. You just literally get to summon monster on monster on monster. I don't want to attack that does- Dang it, why did I attack with Big Jaws? What am I smoking? What am I- what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There's one turn. Ah, oh, good. MST. Now I get to take a 50-50 shot. I'm gonna take the first card he played. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Wow, the odds of that are so ridiculously low. Alright, Hammer Shark. Go ahead and drop this card. Drop this card. I'll switch him to defense mode. Oh, great. Great! Great. We are literally in a stalemate now. Beautiful. <sighs> I've got 4,500 life points left. He's got 3,700. Oh, you've got to be kidding me with that. What? you got to be kidding me. I don't know what I just saved, but yeah, I just saved my monster. Okay, I don't... Okay, I don't know why he did this. I still can't attack him directly, so it doesn't really help me, but... Wait, I don't have... I'm gonna do this for now. Hold on. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I don't have the two level three the same name in my... But I can't attack anyway right now, so I've got a plan. I've got a plan. It starts... It starts with overlaying. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. Um. Okay, when this tag car taking card destroys an da 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 da, special summon it. Also it loses a thousand attacks, and if you do so, this card can on it. You can make a second attack. You control it. Da 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 da. During other players, if you have a thousand light points or left, you can detach one and then banish one monster from a graveyard. Then target one takes the other. Da 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 da. Yada yada yada. Okay. I'm just gonna wait. We are in an interesting low. We are in an interesting scenario right now. All right, summon out Big Jaws. All right, time to time to overlay. In quite the, the little predicament here, not really that big of a predicament, but we are in a we are in a predicament. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm about to hit the hot GG. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You stupid. Alright. What you gonna do, Rio? What is she doing? Is she about to- is she about- oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh my. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I just have to draw any monster. Any monster. No, it's not any monster. Never mind, what am I smoking? Yep, yep, go ahead and activate that effect. Okay, so she can- oh, I lost! I freaking lost! I lost to my sister. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that's stupid. Alright, time to come back with the quickness. Hit her with that- I, could, I should name my user deck. Freaking speed, because you just drop high power monsters, just bang, 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 and it just absolutely wrecks these. This, uh, this these Xyz decks because they rely on getting multiple cards on the field and then overlaying. Well, if I just drop the world on them on turn one, good luck doing that. Okay, not oh god, this hand is horrible. Oh, oh god, this hand is not what I wanted. No, I don't want to MST my own card game. This is the one problem with this deck. You can... You can very, very easily get absolutely screwed because you cannot draw anything that's helpful. Come on, Pot of Greed, Grace for Charity. Come on. Oh, Pot of Duality, I'll take it. No. Okay, Magical Dimension, that doesn't help me. Mirror Force, that does help me. And Dark Magic Curtain, that really helps me. I will take that. Set Dark Magic Curtain. No, I don't want to... You know what, that's all I'll do for now. I'm just going to start Set Dark Magic Curtain. I'm not going to play Swords yet. I'm going to save Swords for later. I can take 15. I can take... 3,000, or oh, I can take 3,600 damage, that's not bad. I'm gonna cut my life points in half anyway. So just all the less life points I have to lose. Oh. Interesting. Okay. 
I still don't really like this hand. Can I not attack the turn I played that? Wait, why can't I attack? I don't know. What the heck? Why can't- why couldn't I attack? Oh, here we go! We're overland. Oh, hey, I just... Oh my god, dude. Wow. I got wrecked. Really because I had to take damage. <laughs> because I could have played swords, I guess, but... I didn't think that would happen, so... Oh, look, I lost this again. This deck really benefits from going second? Yeah, thank you, Rio. You idiot. Alright, let's do this. Better hand, please. Better hand, better hand. Yes, much better hand. Thank you. Thank you, game. You are very kind. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, beautiful. 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 Now pot of greed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is great. This is great. Okay, Dark Magic Curtain. Into uh, Dark Magician. Hold on. I have to close my door. Give me one second. Okay, but no. This, this, uh. I don't even know what I sound like when I get up and I walk over to my door. I kind of want to listen to it now, but I had to close my door. But, um, this is like totally, this is the most unprofessional video ever. Who gets up in the middle of their video? But, um, okay, I'm going to set Valkyria. I can get her in the nice little stunt, that trap, where she can't attack any of my monsters. I'm going to do that here in a second. Or, okay, this is fine. Yeah, go ahead and destroy my Dark Magician, whatever. Oh no, he, she's overland. That was a stupid move by her. She could have gotten that Dark Magician off the field. Instead, she's going to have to go about it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. See, that, in my opinion, that's just a waste on her part. Hmm. I'm going to go about this this way. I'm going to go about this this way. I'm going to destroy that card. Okay, you can... That doesn't stop my magic. That doesn't... Oh, it does affect it. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Oh, yeah, look. You can't... You can't destroy it. Knock on, knock on. Alright, this is good. Swords is fine. I could overlay. I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put her into the stun. Cause now she can't attack anything. Buys me a turn or two to think about what I wanna do. Cause she can't she can't do anything. She can't attack. That's the one issue, like, the Magician's Valkyria, sh the, the card is fine, but when you can get, you couldn't do it in, like, an actual, uh, duel, but in this, you can, you can literally have your opponent stuck where they can't attack. So, it's pretty cheap. It's a really cheap tactic in this, but, I really kind of want to draw, I want to kind of... Oh, that just dis that disables their ability. I forgot about that. Oh well, this is fine. I don't know what she's doing. That was stupid. Okay. That was dumb. I don't know why she went. I don't know why she went about it that way. That was a stupid way to do it. Okay. Um. Why am I even looking at what else is in here? I'm bringing back Dark Magician. It says I can't normal summon. 
Okay, that's considered a normal summon. Okay, well, magic formula time. And I'm gonna activate swords. She can okay, she's MS, that doesn't matter, yeah. Okay, thank you for MSTing that, I can use life points. Okay. My deck is actually not stacking up as good against hers as I thought it would, but we're still alright, I think. She's only got one card in her hand. I still have a way- she's gotta be able to destroy Dark Magician as well as destroy Swords if she wanted to win. I'm just gonna go with Skilled Dark. I'm just gonna go with Skilled Dark for now. I'm gonna see how this works. One down. Alright, I think we're good. I kind of want to keep my life points just in case the worst happens. But I don't know if 900 life points is really going to save me. But I know as soon as I drop this Dark Magic Curtain, it's going to cost me. And that's, that's nice. Thanks, game. <laughs> Thanks for letting me drop my blue eyes. Oh, here we go. We're about to find out what this card is. Oh, of course, it's a card I can't destroy. Good. Great. I probably should have, I should have attacked with Blue Eyes just so I could see if he had a 3... He has to have... I don't even remember if I ever attacked with Blue Eyes to see his 3D attack. He's got to have one. We'll find out next turn. She still can't attack, so we're still fine. Oh, she just straight up ended her turn. Well, why not? Why not? We'll play him in defense mode just in case. I don't know what else. I don't know what she could possibly have in that hand, but I ain't risking it. GG. There we go. See, that's the power of my deck. You can just drop, just drop stuff. Why did you attack me? I only followed your orders. I gave no such orders. Yes, you did. You just don't not. You just do not. You just do not remember it. For it was during a time when you were still a Barian. What? A Barian? My duty is complete. Farewell. Wait, don't leave. This is my number. Rio, I'm so confused. Are we humans or are we Barians? Who are we? Uh, Clash of the Emperors campaign duel. Sea of Troubles reverse. Rio deck avatar. Gorgonic mermail deck recipe. Frog metamorphosis challenge deck. Abyss splash. Soldier Stone, Gorgonic, Guardian, and Victory Duel Points. Alright, time for a World of Chaos. Let's do this. And then we'll do the final four in the next episode. Ha ha ha, well look who it is. Really, num you're back, number 96? Yuma and Astral, number 96? Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Didn't we already beat this idiot? I've been looking forward to our rematch. We must not lose. Shall we high-five the sky? Yeah, really? Really? That's what he said? Oh my gosh. I shake my head every time this game, this, th during this campaign. D dude, I just shake my head. I can't believe it. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's do this. I don't like this hand at all. Um... I don't like this hand at all. I really don't like this hand at all. What was this? Okay. Uh, let's go Utopia. Oh, this dude's playing evil heroes. Oh, okay. This dude... This dude's not messing around. Except that... Wait. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Probably not gonna work, but I got an idea. 
Okay. Let's destroy this card. I'm not sure why he went for... Oh, I already know this is not gonna go well. This is not going to go well. Oh, good. I drew something not horrible. Let's do that. And now I can summon this stupid card. Bacon Saver. Oh, I could have attacked that one with Bacon Saver. Oh, yeah. Look at Bacon Saver. Coming in clutch. Bacon Saver coming in hella clutch. What is about to happen to me? Don't do it to me. Don't do it. Oh, he's about to drop number. Oh, this is the stupid. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Here comes. Here comes the overlay. Here we go! Here we go with this dark mist crap again. And here we go. Chaos number 96. Dark Storm. Oh, this just sounds like it's gonna destroy me. What the heck just happened? What? What just happened? The heck just happened? What on earth just happened to me? Um... Why can't I attach this? Um, I think that's that that's about the hot GG. Oh no. Pretty sure this I just I just caught the hot GG. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that's the that's the quickie magoo, the hot GG. What just happened? What just happened? What on earth did I just get destroyed by? Alright, Chaos Deck, let's do this. I'm sick of this crap. Oh my gosh, I always lose with the Chaos Deck. Go first. You suck. You suck. Give me Magic Cylinder. Come on, Base God. Base God RNG. You didn't give me a magic cylinder, you douche monkey. Fine. Let's do it this way. Alright, let's go about it this way. Oh, a lure of darkness. Great. Oh, more. We're doing this. We're doing giant germs. Really? Really? We are doing giant germ. The heck? Yeah, yeah, let me... Yeah, let me sacrifice friggin' Breaker or Defender of the Magical Warrior for Magician of Faith. Do that. Now that card won't keep asking me. I'm gonna destroy this. I'm gonna play this smart. And I'm not gonna destroy a giant germ yet. Here we go. Oh, no, he's just switching him to defense mode. Good. Good boy. Oh, look, another mirror force. I'll do this. Why don't you give me your, uh, Whatever this thing is. And now I'll take my Monster Reborn back. Okay, now. 
Position of Faith, destroy that. These stupid giant germs, dude. They're the bane of my existence. They screw me in whatever game I play. Whatever Yu-Gi-Oh game I'm choosing to play at the time. Just zero Fs given, dude. And... Okay, he's gonna drop... I'm gonna do this. He's about to drop his Dark Mist, and then he's gonna go into Chaos Storm douchebag, and... Oh, good thing I've got multiple Mirror Forces here. Yep, here we go! Here we go! And we're rocking and rolling. Ha ha ha, but I have Swords Revealing Light. Yep, here we go. Here we freaking go. Is he gonna play it in attack? Why is he playing it in defense? Is there a reason here? Oh, hey, good graceful charity. Thank you, game. Oh, beautiful. Let's do that. Okay, Magician's Valkyria and attack. Now, yes, I do want to destroy a monster. Yeah, get that crap off my field. Okay, now time to bring back Dark Magician Girl. And drop... <laughs> drop Valkyria. Alright, it's a party. Let's go. Defender. He better do something or he's gonna get hit with the quick sweep. The quick sweep's about to happen. This is why I love this deck. This is why I love this deck. 1900 life points left, bro. You can't attack. I got that combo. I got that Magician's Valkyria combo. I'm surprised they haven't changed this. I guess nobody plays this strat because it's really not a good strat against like super good decks. It's just a good deck. It's just a good strat right now. Magic formula. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's do this. Okay. And GG, number 96. GG. I knew we could do it, Astral. I guess we're a pretty good team. I lost a duel. I cannot believe it. It's all over. For you, that is. Astral, you can't get rid of me that easily. You may have won the duel, but I still have enough power to finish you once and for all. Yuma, Astral, Yuma, your friend can't help you anymore. In fact, he can't even help himself. I will destroy everything. I will not let this happen. Yuma, it will be okay. Ah, Astral, Yuma, I am glad you are safe. You totally got rid of number 96, but we were supposed to beat him together. I could not take the chance and risk your safety. What? We're a team. Yes, we are, and friends. And I will always treasure our friendship. Victor met with Don Thousand. Welcome to my sacred domain, Don Thousand. Few mortals have ever gained entry. You should consider this a great honor. And I do, in fact, I'm not even sure I'm worthy to be here. Hey, is that what I think it is? Number 96? Correct. Astral was unable to destroy all his power. So naturally, what was left returned to its rightful owner. Are you implying that that's you? How could that be? Because number 96 was originally a part of me. When I battled with Astral, I attacked with such fury that a splinter of my dark power buried itself within his heart. Of course, I wonder how someone like Astral could have such a vile being inside of him. Oh, well that explains some stuff for me. Reverse Duel, Thunderous Dark Storm deck recipe, Evil Swarm Annihilation, Rank Up Magic Baryon's Force, Umbral Horror Ghost, uh, Mal Malice Furus Fork, I think? Victory duel points. Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we will be finishing the Zexel campaign. Only five more to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.